hey guys how are you i hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video today i am back with another amazing android 13 custom rom for our redmi note 11 and this time this is the lineage os 20.0 and it is based on android 13 as you can see here android version is 13 and lineage os version is 20 and its security patch is also all the, all the way latest uh, october 5 2022 so this is the uh, uh, one of the most stablest and smoothest ROMs uh, for our Redmi Note 11. So in this video I will be reviewing it out and I will also show you is it stable for daily usage and I will also show you its installation. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before starting the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and also hit the like button. So first of all, uh, as you know, Lineage OS is the one of the most famous Android custom ROMs and this time it just comes uh, with the Android 13 update as you can see here and uh, the Lineage OS is getting uh, more stable and secure day by day for our Android devices. So we will be starting uh, from the home screen as you can see here I just customized the home screen by my own I just added a search widget right here and then I added a weather widget and I added some uh, favorite uh, application icons you can do uh, by going into the widgets and you can add any of these widgets and uh, uh, from the wallpaper and style you can change the style but pre default we only get this wallpaper pre installed and these are uh, amazing wallpapers as you can see here let's try uh, this one click on ok home and lock screen and as you can see here the wallpaper has been applied on the lock screen and home screen so after it we have home settings and in the home setting here we have launcher settings uh, we don't get a lot of uh, advanced customizations in the uh, home settings as you can see here and uh, we also have the hide and protected application uh, option right here uh, you can hide and protect your application no need to install any third party application to lock your applications and uh, by the way the app opening speed is also pretty much good it is completely lagless it is working without any issue you can do gaming and you can do all other stuff by using this uh, rom and this rom is also supported by 90 hertz refresh rate just go into the settings go to display and uh, from the display as you can see here you can set the peak refresh rate and you can also set the minimum refresh rate uh, to 90 hertz or six, uh, 60 hertz and you can also enable the smooth display uh, it will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 uh, for some content like uh, scrolling on social media or while, uh, while doing gaming so and in the camera we get this camera i don't know if it is a google camera mode and it just works pretty much good here we have some options you can only take photos make videos and scan the documents and if you want more features like portrait mode night mode then you can go for the uh, gcam camera application from our website 9to5modes.com now let's run the geekbench and check its performance and score accept it and click on run cpu benchmark after completing the benchmark run and uh, this is the cpu run as you can see here it just scored uh, 344 uh, 374 sorry 374 score on the single core and 1463 score on the multi core as you can see here the operating system is also showing uh, 13 and uh, you can also check other information and uh, let me show you the single core this is the how it performed so on the multi core it just performed like this so I just also installed PUBG Mobile and it, it just working pretty much fine. In the battery, the battery performance of this ROM is also pretty much cool. And in the battery here we have uh, battery usage, battery saver and battery manager. And uh, in the sound and vibration we don't have the Mi sound enhancer. We only get the standard sounding options. And then we have uh, display. In the display you can uh, check the dark mode and you can change the font style. You can also change the icon sh shape and uh, we have the live display colors option uh, refresh rate changing options and tap to wake and tap to sleep options after it we have the accessibility and security in the security we have fingerprint and on screen locks working we don't get the face unlock in this room so maybe in the future it will be added in the lineage os then we have location and in the system we have some 
customization, a little bit of customizations. First of all, we have languages and input, then we have button customization. You can invert the button and edge long swipe action. Power menu is right here. You can also enable the advanced reboot. And uh, here we have some power button settings like end call, long press for torch, then we have volume buttons. Uh, and in the extras, here we have screenshots uh, shortcut right here. Then we have system profile status bar options. Uh, in the status bar, here we have quick pull down, system icons, clock position, show icon, auto hide, AM PM style, and you can also change the battery style and you can also change the battery percentage style then we have some brightness sliders over the status bar then we have gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is working pretty much cool as you can see here you can also set it to be opened notifications so then we have press and hold power button prevent ringing and then we have date and time backup updater multiple users reset options and uh, maybe it is uh, this updated is working or not I don't know I am not pretty much sure about this so at the end here we have about phone as you already know it is based on the Android so the installation process is pretty much simple uh, you can follow the instructions from the description box I just added the installation uh, instructions in the description box and the download link of this ROM is also in the description box just go and follow the instruction and you will be able to install the lineage OS 13 uh, lineage OS 20 based on Android 13 on the Redmi Note 11 so maybe I hope you guys liked this video if you really did hit the like button you can also follow us on the Instagram and uh, you can also uh, subscribe us on the telegram if you have any queries or questions about this video or any other video from my channel then you can ask us on the telegram the telegram group and channel link is in the description go and follow us so keep supporting thanks for watching peace